as it is right now, the Niners are the seventh seed. But if they win against Cincinnati and they win mo- majority of the remaining games, the Niners could be the sixth seed again and they could play the Buccaneers. But now I ask you the question, who would you rather meet in the playoffs, the Packers or the Buccaneers? Um, remember, I'm not a Niner fan. But if I was thinking who the Niners have a better chance against, man, I would probably say Green Bay. I don't trust Aaron Rodgers in the playoffs. There's something about him. There's something about Tom Brady. It's not who you want to face in the playoffs when he has the home field advantage. That being said, neither one's a good option. I mean, I mean, Green Bay in the snow or 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 Tom Brady with a home field. Advantage. I mean, they're both worst case scenarios. And then the other option is Arizona, who you've lost to twice. Yeah. Yikes. I mean, really, what the Niners need to hope for is that they can get Dallas, but the only way they do that is by, like, beating teams like Seattle and getting to that fifth seed. So I guess I'm going to say Green Bay, but neither one's super appetizing. Yep. Out of all those teams, like the two teams that I mentioned, I'm going to say the Packers. Now, I would love for the Niners to be the fifth seed. I would love for them to go and play Dallas as it sits right now because I think we could beat Dallas. Dallas. Dallas is a vulnerable football team. Obviously, they won last week against the Saints, but – the Saints were super banged up. But as it's just right now, I think we could possibly get to six feet if we, you know, let's say possibly beat Cincinnati, we win majority of our games. But I would rather play the Packers because we almost beat the Packers at home. Now, Lambeau is a completely different story because Lambeau is cold if it's snowing. And with the Packers, they have some key injuries on that defense with Darius Smith being out, Jair Alexander being out. But the Packers' defense has still been really, really good this season. Even mm, with those true. two guys out, but like you said, Aaron Rodgers, he's not the greatest in the playoffs. Now, I'm not going to take anything away from Aaron Rodgers, but yeah. Aaron Rodgers, the time, amount of times that he's made the NFC Championship game, the amount of times that he's lost is like, wow. Like, But would I rather play Aaron Rodgers in the playoffs than the Packers, even with the healthy Packers team in Lambeau, or rather play Brady and the Buccaneers in the playoffs first round? I'd rather play the Packers. Now, the reason I'm saying the Packers – over the Bucks also is because we know what Brady does in the playoffs. Like, Brady, he drops games in the regular season. We saw last year. They lost to the Saints twice. Now, I get it, Drew Brees was the quarterback, but they they lose some games in the regular season. But then come playoff time, Brady doesn't let that happen. Brady balls out, and the Buccaneers, entire Buccaneers team steps it up. And obviously, Brady won the Super Bowl last year. And the, the Buccaneers are a team that's built to beat the Niners. Because what do they have? They have a good defensive line. But what is their one weak point? Their cornerbacks. But what is our weak, you know, weak point of our offense is our quarterback. So do you yeah. really think Jimmy Goplow can take advantage of the dinged up corners in, uh, in Tampa Bay? No, because Jimmy Goplow is not that guy. Jimmy Goplow takes like advantage of linebackers and safeties, yeah. Yeah, he can't take advantage of corners. He's not going to thread the needle against the Buccaneers secondary. I, I have zero confidence Jimmy Goplow doing that. But what yeah. are the Bucks really, really good on defense? Is their defensive line and Dominic and Sue, Shaquille Barrett, Vita Vea, and the offensive line? Right. I mean, offensive line isn't it isn't bad. But one thing, one guy that completely, two guys that stand out to me on the defensive line is Tom Compton, who's horrible in pass blocking, and then we have Tom Compton and um, Daniel Brunskill. And what does Dan Daniel Brunskill struggle with? Is straight up bull rushers. And mm-hmm. what is Vita Vea straight up bull rusher? So yeah. some of those matches just aren't like – some of those matches are just not in the Niners' favor, and the Niners like to run the football. I don't know if they're going to be able to run the football effectively against that Bucks defensive line. So when I take all the factors in, can the Niners beat a Bucks team if they can run the football when Jimmy Goppel wants to throw? Like I said before, no, I don't have faith in Jimmy Goppel doing that. I don't have Jimmy, faith in Jimmy Goppel taking advantage of that Bucks secondary, even though it's completely banged up. Richard Sherman, they brought in, he's injured. Some of their starting guys are injured. That complete the whole secondary is pretty much banged up. But do I have faith in Jimmy Goppler to take advantage of that in the playoffs? No. 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 Playoffs? So, no. 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 So I'd rather no. play the Packers. We were 37 yeah. seconds away from beating the Packers. Obviously, that wasn't True. Levi's, but I'd rather play the Packers. The Packers, I feel like, are an easier team. Even if even if it isn't Lambo, even if it's snowing, even if they get back Jair Alexander or the Darius Smith, I would rather play the Packers. Because we've done well against them in 2019. I don't. I know 2019 is 2019, but we were 37 seconds away from beating them this season. But I, one guy that I will not ever want to play in the playoffs is Brady. 
And that Bucks team is a nightmare matchup for the 49ers. So I would easily rather play the Packers. Well, before we jump into the next topic, we have some questions. 49ers daddy says, mean the dream. If we lose to Cincinnati, do you think Trey will start for the rest of the season? Do I think Trey will start for the rest of the season? No. Because I do I think he should start for the rest of the season? Yes, I said it before, but do I think he will? No, because when you especially I saw it in Seattle also. Jimmy Garoppolo screwed up so much. Safety, interception, interception. And Kyle still didn't think of like, you know what, let me put in Shannon and see how well he does. Because Jimmy Garoppolo straight up sucking. He's not doing great. So why not put in chance? But no, Kyle's like, let me put Jimmy out there again. And again, Jimmy Garoppolo screws up and he'll still put him out there. I'm like, so what is, what is it with Chance? Either he's not good enough or he's just not ready. And if he's not – and I don't, I can't make that statement that he's not good enough because I haven't seen him play more than one game. So then the only option, the only thing that comes to my mind is Trey's not ready. And then when I think of it like that, I'm like, Trey's not ready. That's not on Trey. That's on you, Kyle. Because Kyle, as a head coach, you have to – Trey should be ready. If you're that coach of a team, you have till April – to make this guy ready for the season. If he is needed, if you want, if you need him to play, he is ready. And he, he, by the looks of it right now, the way that way I'm thinking about it is that he's not ready. And that's on Kyle because Kyle's the one who should have made sure that Trey is ready. And I don't that's that's my biggest theory that I don't think Trey is ready. So do I think he will start for us this evening, even if they lose to Cincinnati? Even if Debo's playing in Jimmy Garoppolo and they lose to Cincinnati. No, I don't think they're gonna start Trey Lance because Trey Lance should have come in again in that Seattle game, and he didn't. And the amount of times that Jimmy Garoppolo screwed up in that game should have been a should have been you know an eye opener for Kyle Shanahan to be like you know what, let me put in Trey Lance to see how well he does and how well he performs, but he didn't. And that's just one of those things. That's just one of those signs that I'm like either Trey is not ready, or Kyle just thinks he's not good enough. So. I don't think he's going to start for the rest of the season. And that game against Seattle just showed me because Jimmy Garoppolo screwed up time and time again. That Minnesota game, Jimmy Garoppolo threw one interception and he bounced back. The Chicago Bears game, I think he threw one interception or something like that and he and he bounced back. But then two interceptions, a safety, and you still didn't decide to put in Trey Lance. Either he's not ready or you think he's just not good enough. Yeah. You have any thoughts on that, Grant, or no? I think you pretty much summed it up. 